Welcome to Starlag Online. Uh, although recently it's become more like Star Crash Online. Um, but anyway. Um, I don't actually know what the point of this is, because I'm not going to be teaching anything. Uh, this isn't a tutorial or anything, it's just... I don't know, I guess I'm just going to fuck around for a bit and maybe be entertaining. Um, Congratulations, Admiral. Thank you, Mr. Spock. Um, so this is a new tune that I've rolled uh, because I wanted to get the <coughs> Oberth. I got the bundle, and it's surprisingly a really good ship. This is um, like if you if you like escorts like I do, um, but you want a science ship, so it's like a science ship that can move. Uh, and this isn't finished yet. Um, I got the uh, deflector, impulse, etc. set from uh, from the event. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep that yet or not. Um, I got some mission stuff uh, for the consoles. Um, uh, I, I, I didn't have a Tetrion build in any of my tunes. Um, I have every other energy type, so I just thought I'd make this um, Tetrion. So I got the, the low B stuff. Um, yeah, it's not finished yet, because uh, he's still got to go through the rip so that he can get the... Um, <coughs> I want to get the 8472 uh, turret and console. Um, and I'm going to get the uh, Nukara um, beam. Uh, and then consoles, eh, I don't know. I don't know. It seems pretty good for now. Um, I'm going to do uh, Infected. It's an endeavor that came up, so I'm going to do that with, with this fella. Um, I'm going to do that on Advanced. <coughs> um, yeah, just haven't really done much with this, uh, aside from the basics. Um, I crafted a, an Omni from with one of my other tunes. Um, like I say, Lovey stuff. Crafted a uh, secondary deflector. Uh, crafting is actually useful if you've got a guy that's maxed out. Um, then, yeah, like I say, the, the mission stuff for the sets. Uh, the Krenum set. Uh, there's the lobby set. Um, got all three of those because you got to have a torpedo. It's just Star Trek. You got to have a, a, a torpedo. Um, but yeah, I haven't really done like much grind. Most of the stuff is like account unlock and just uh, leftover grind. <coughs> So, um, let's first of all get this guy. I'm gonna get the rip up <coughs> because, because they say, I'm gonna get that dilithium so that you can <laughs> trade it in for Zen at 500 a pop. Uh, yeah, the, the Deluxe has crashed, and, uh, I mean, everyone's, everyone's got an opinion on that. Some people are saying it's good, some people are saying it's the end of the game, um, I think, uh, the Deluxe is actually a really good model for, 
or free to play games because um, on the one side of the spectrum you've got the whales who are the guys that uh, will spend obscene amounts of money on, on Zen um, and on the other side you have uh, purely free to play players I need more expertise for this so I'm going to run some controls <coughs> uh, you have purely free to play players who have a lot of time so um, you know it, it, it's good because if you if you got a lot of cash and not a lot of time then you can just um, you know like open your wallet buy a bunch of zen and uh, cash in for the lithium and if you got a lot of time but not a lot of money I mean you know uh, times are hard we got you know pandemics and recessions and things so you know uh, if you, if you are doing some quarantine gaming, <coughs> you know you can you can grind out some extra uh, dilithium. The problem, though, is <coughs> that there isn't anything in the game to spend dilithium on. So you basically just grinding for um, to convert it to Zen which is where we're at now is that the guys that have the Zen don't want to sell it um, for dilithium they don't want to trade it for dilithium because there's there's nothing to do with dilithium yeah the Phoenix boxes which was re a really good idea that they had um, and uh, a couple of years ago they had this issue where the, the, the cap was being reached and they, they launched the Phoenix boxes. Um, and that... Huh? Oh, lag. Star lag. Um, Phoenix boxes stabilized the exchange for quite a while. Um, but then... So the Phoenix boxes are... You, you spend a bunch of the lithium on these things and they, they're gamble boxes. Um, and they they give you potentially the um, chance to get ships and other goodies that you may have missed in previous events because uh, what what they're doing very heavily in this game is they are preying on your FOMO so they have constant events um, and each of the events has a new goodie for example current event that's running is the summer event and you get a ship which actually looks pretty cool I think I'm gonna give that to my um, Orion slave goal um, but regardless of what the prize is um, you have limited time to do it and if you miss it then it's gone you don't get it so then they had the Phoenix boxes which you know you spend the dilithium and it gives you a chance to get the uh, the goodie that you missed, whether it's a ship or a console, whatever the case is. And that actually worked because uh, as much as people bitch about gamble boxes, um, uh, people that play this game do have a gambling problem. Um, if, you've, if you've ever sold master keys on the exchange, you know uh, those things move. So, you know, um, yeah, uh, people rail on it, but um, yeah, we, 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 we do have collectively, uh, as, as the player base, we have got a gambling problem. Um, we probably should talk to someone about that, but we're not gonna, uh, or at least I'm not. So <clears throat> that was cool. You, you know, it was a way that you could get some dilithium out of the game. Um, and it was also an incentive for people to purchase the lithium or to trade it with with Zen, um, and that worked for for a very long time until 
this fucking thing happened. Mud's Market. So Mud's Market, I think, started off as a gay. Look at look at these prices first of all. Okay, this is a weapon that was um, one of the goodies in a recent event. So I can't remember which one. So if you played the event for like 20 days, you got this for free. If you missed it, you know, if you like your internet went out, whatever the case is, if you got sick, if you had to travel for your job, if you couldn't finish the event, then you're out of luck. You don't get this. Okay. So traditionally what would have happened is this would have been moved to the Phoenix box. Um, however, someone got really, really greedy and they decided to put this into MUD's market. And let's look at the price. 8,000 zen. That's $80. Even on sale, six thousand. it's $60 for this thing, which was free. Which, if you just happen to miss it, then you're out of luck. Sorry for you. Uh, so, originally MUD's market was, uh, I think it started off as a joke. Um, because in the show, Harry Mudd is literally a con man. Um, so they've got this in the Zen store, and I think it's like, it's a gag. Or at least it, it started off that way, but then probably somebody at legal said, listen, you can't advertise this stuff as a joke. If you advertise the price, then that's what it's got to be. So they just decided, fuck it, let's lean into it. So now you get stuff that should have been in the Phoenix box, that they <laughs> trying to sell for eighty dollars and it's madness so the phoenix box doesn't get updated so there's no incentive for you to buy it so there's no reason for you to spend it all uh, you know what else is there what, what else can you do with with the lithium let's have a look okay you can buy tron useless you can get a, a lock box for zero okay uh you can get a phoenix phoenix box but why there's no new shit in the Phoenix box, so why would you do it? You, you buy a few of these for the upgrades, and that's it. Um, you get these consumables, which are pretty useless. Um, you can get, uh, you know, uh, you get one-time purchases. You get these EV suits, okay, that's not much of a sink, because once you buy it, it's bought. Um, you know, it's like, it, it's really underwhelming stuff that you get in this. Uh, hanger pets is, ba is is pretty much the best thing that you can get in the in the uh, uh, dull store. But even then, it's a one-time purchase. So you buy this thing. It's not even that much. You buy it. You you know. And then you got it. Oh wait, no. But there's vanity shields. Okay, again, it's a one-off purchase. And most people aren't going to get a lot of these, you, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's where we are. They've decided to be greedy uh, <laughs> assholes. And look at this. This was uh, the, um, the the Christmas ship a while back, which was for free. You just had to do the event. But all you know, previous um, uh, precedent, this should have gone into the Phoenix box. But no, they stuck it in Mud's Market for $170. So let's, let's, let's consider this. You could either spend 17,000 Zen on one ship, or you could wait for the legendary bundle to come out and spend the same amount for 10 excellent ships as you would have for this one ship. I mean, who who actually buys anything from Mud's Market? I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm perplexed. I, I, I cannot imagine anybody doing this. I mean, outside of the bundles, maybe. I mean, even then, 30,000 Zen for... Uh, um, yeah. You know, it, uh, it's it's under it's. Look at this. I mean, really, sixty thousand zen, really. 
and uh, and it, I mean it really is a con. Harry Mudd was like, if you haven't watched the show, he was he's like this this con artist that he was like a villain. Um, but he wasn't like, you know, uh, he had a moustache, but he wasn't like a moustache twirling villain. He was just like a con con artist, and he like he used to hatch these schemes to steal the Enterprise. Um, I mean, in Discovery, they they turned him into a sociopath that like murders people. But um, yeah, we don't really talk about Discovery. Um, so <sighs> this tab in the Zen store is them literally telling you that they are conning you. I mean, for real. Like one hundred seventy dollars for a single ship that isn't even that good. It's not like metal or anything. Eighty dollars. The beacon of Kalis, which is just complete, it, it's like a useless device. It does nothing. It like <laughs> it, it blinds everyone uh, for a few seconds, and then like a couple of me ships come into. I mean, it, and they want eighty dollars for it. I mean, this is the sort of ship that should go into the Phoenix box, because then it would drive up demand for the Phoenix box. I get this. The, uh, I understand this because this was a limited edition um, ship that, that was only available through WizKids. Same thing with the uh, <coughs> like the hollow buffs. Uh, um, you know, th these are like uh, Vegas exclusives. So okay, cool. If that's like the only way that you can get these things, um, sure. Then put them into the con artist store. But. <sighs> You know, this console was... You know, the, the, the event stuff should go into the Phoenix box. But it hasn't been. So, there's no demand for the Phoenix box, so there's no demand for Dilithium. That's just my opinion. Um, but, you know, it was just like greed. Um, yeah. Uh, so... The Phoenix boxes work as a dual sync because they are gamble boxes and you, you have to keep buying them. Um, but another thing that would work for as a dual sync would be services because you want the, a, a dual sync should be something that you have to keep buying. So, what what would go well uh, in terms of services? Well, let's have a look. If you go to your GT offices, your personal tab. Um, okay. Well, see, yeah, it's not even available. Uh, when you go into your personal tab, they uh, sometimes have uh, uh, DOF assignments that um, give you little bonuses if you're successful. So, you know, you'll get like a little bit extra damage or uh, extra speed, um, you know, hull integrity, things like that. And then, so instead of making them like random DOF assignments, uh, you could charge Dilithium, you know, to to have those bonuses active for a limited time. So you could like rent uh, a boost or even, uh, you know, if you don't like this, you, you, you spend uh, 50, whatever, you spend like uh, whatever dilithium and it refreshes these DOF assignments, you know, because then that's something that, oh, I'm actually going to do this, because um, that's something that, that is repeatable. People would, you know, keep buying. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I don't actually know. It seems like they are trying with these vanity shields, but uh, I, I don't know. I think I think uh, for a short-term solution, it's not really working. Um, I don't know how much would be involved in in updating the uh, the Phoenix boxes, or if they even can now because they've got all the shit in in Mud's market. So uh, I don't know. I think I think they they kind of screwed themselves because uh, the only thing now the only currency that's that's worth anything is Zen. So which is f even then, if you're a whale and you've got endless amounts of money. These are still one-time purchases. So you go through this entire Zen store and you buy everything. Then what? Then you got no reason to buy Zen. If you're a free-to-play player, if if 
it's impossible for you to get Zen to buy this stuff, you're going to give up. You're not going to play. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, there's people saying like doom and gloom that they they want the um, dolithium cap to be reached. I, I don't think they do because I, I do think they get quite a lot from uh, from whales trading Zen on on the exchange. So uh, I don't know. But yes, that but basically that's that's my opinion. Is uh, where it went wrong is when they started putting the shit in Mud's Market. Mud's Market is an abomination. I've never bought anything from it, and I never will. Uh, and just out of principle, I got this for free because they said it's free. That's it. That's the only thing I'm going to buy from this con artist. Having said that, there is quite a lot on the Zen store that is really good. Um, that I would recommend. Uh, I haven't played with the Clark yet, but I have played with the Oberth, and it is really cool. Um, like I showed you, it's not really... I have no idea what I'm doing with, with this build. It's uh, This is the USS Esteban, named after the uh, noble, brave captain of the USS Grissom. <laughs> 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 Who fought so valiantly. Um, at the uh, at the Genesis planet against the Klingon invaders, um, so I, I don't really know what I'm going to do with this. Um, I know it's going to be Tetrion, and that's pretty much it. I'm still very much playing around with it. Uh, still got a long way to go with um, rep and things of that kind. Um, so, um, so if you haven't got it and you are considering it um, I'm gonna do what are you doing? breaking my balls um, I'm gonna do an advanced uh, of infected space and then I'm gonna do a couple of patrols just so that you can see um, where uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not like... Huzzah! It's not like... Um, I haven't put anything into it. You know, um, I spent lobby and uh, got a bunch of account unlocks. <coughs> but, uh, yes, I know. Uh, yep. Mm. Um... But yeah, I'm not really much of a science-y type guy. Um, I mostly fly escorts because um, I like I like to make pew pew go shoot. Um, and you you kind of get that feeling from from this ship. <coughs> Hello. Hello nine. Um, Okay, the Borg are, are being very threatening. Scanning the nanite transport. So let's show them the error of their ways. Okay. F. Come on. Um. Rice, that's loud. Uh. Well, 
Oh shit. These guys are good. Uh, let's use the... Ah, oh, shit, 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 oh. Hmm. Okay, so. <laughs> Not quite as tanky as we would like it yet. Um. Shoot a Genesis planet at you. How do you like that? You son of a bitch. Class. Uh, the Obuth class is is working to specification um, because it blew up at least once, and as everyone knows, that's what Obuths are designed to do. Um, so yeah, it's got potential. I'm not quite happy with it. It's still still sluggish. I don't want uh, and uh, I don't want to play around with the power too much because um, yeah, I don't really do sciency builds um, that often or at all. Um, so it's a little bit slow, uh, and it also um, it's it's got too much explodium inside. Um, so I'm still going to play around with that, and also, I mean, this is a brand new guy. Uh, I'm probably going to have to change the specs, um, but I mean, he's still working his way up. So uh, it's got potential. I, I do really enjoy it. I, I, you know, I initially just got it because it's a meme. Um, But it's actually, it's a really good ship. So, um, but we're not gonna we're not gonna use that as a gauge um, because the guys in that TFO were doing all the heavy lifting. I did I didn't really do anything there. So uh, I'm just gonna dump some of this <sighs> vendor trash. In the trash. I'm saving up to buy a moon. I'm gonna buy a moon in the same sector as Quark. Um, I'm just gonna like play loud human human music. Uh, and aim it in his general direction just to annoy him. Um, okay, so let's do let's do a patrol. Let's do ninth rule. Because like this, uh, it's not uh, okay. Cool. Yes. All right. Yep. Mhm. Mm Thank you. Um, Lead the way. Follow. So this will just be reading a single Ferengi vessel, Marauder class, safety cloaked. Oh no, uh, this will just be me, uh, and it won't be uh, you know anyone else carrying me. Uh, so let's see. All right, and now because because we're Starfleet, we are. Taking a diplomatic solution. This is negotiation pattern alpha. Ah, eh. Ah. 
Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Well, there's good news. Alright, okay. Um, okay, so we negotiated those guys to death. Uh, the real test is going to be. Ah. The, yeah, okay, I'm never in here. Who are we? Huh? Oh. Oh, God. I hate these guys. Uh, just fired a volley of diplomacy torpedoes. Ah, sons of bitches. Bait. Fakiri. Fickin' Fakiri. Are you dead? Or you, you're all dead? Nope. Ah, uh, Okay. Just die. Die. Yeah, now is everyone dead? Yeah, these cloaks. Are you gonna bribe me with this time? I know where the Bajoran orb of acquisition is, partner. Nah, I'm not religious. Okay. Now, when they swarm us, we're gonna see if this thing can take it. Okay. Oh no! Okay, the uh, birth has not yet exploded. So we're gonna have to sort to the designers about that. Ah, you close there. Come on. Yeah. Come on, move, you bastard. It's a good ship, it's really fun to fly. Um, like I said, I still want to tweak it a little bit. Um, I, I, I really, really like fast ships. 
Um, so, uh, dead, yeah. Um, I might get rid of a few of these consoles, and the, I might mess around with the traits a little bit, but again, uh, once I get my rep uh, up, then I'll be able to, to play around with these. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's got potential. Um, and the temporal seating is really a force multiplier that um, you can just load this entire thing with uh, with temporal stuff and you know do space magic. Uh, I would have liked to have an additional tactical option. Uh, you know, I would have swapped that for one of the engineering, but I mean, it's not bad. Uh, you know, you, you you can you can slot some the basics. <laughs> tactical but that's not not where your um, your firepower is coming from it's going to be the temporal stuff um, so yeah if you are thinking about getting it uh, hopefully that would have uh, informed you um, you know uh, a, a moron that doesn't know what he's doing um, actually did okay with it so Cool. Um, I'm gonna sign off now, and I'm gonna head off to Raisa for Jamaharan. See you next time.